Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at optionalpha.com where we show you guys how to make smarter trades. And today we're going to go over all of the trades that we made for Tuesday, November 4th, election day. So hopefully you guys got out there and had a chance to vote, which is, is always important to uh, to do on, on today. Um, as far as trades that we had today, we had two opening orders and then two closing orders. So fairly light day. Uh, I think that I'm I'm pretty happy about the closing order first of all, and I just want to kind of cover uh, some of these closing trades first. I'm I'm very happy about the HLF closing that we had on earnings because Herbal Life actually opened up uh, down and rallied early in the morning, and we had an opportunity because of that rally to not get greedy and take the trade off because it had you know produced a nice little profit, and that's kind of our our mantra and and what we do mechanically is you know if it's opens within our standard deviation range and within the range of our strangle or straddle, whatever the case is, that we're going to go ahead and take that trade off and, and take the profit and not get caught, you know, sitting on our hands waiting for a little bit more money. So I'm very happy that we did that. I think that ended up being the right move because we were able to take off this trade, the 65 call and the 45 put. And really the only the only one that was really in, in jeopardy here is the 45 put. Uh, we were able to take that off for a 111 debit and bank a nice little $58 profit. So not too bad as far as that's concerned. When you look at the actual chart of Herbal Life, though, you can see that it actually ended the day down around 4426. So it actually did go in the money at the end of the day, hence why I think it's sometimes important to take trades off uh, at the beginning of the morning. Now, that's kind of backfired on us one time so far this earnings season where uh, Baidu opened lower and the options were in the money and then Baidu rallied right after that. So we could have had an opportunity in Baidu to close out trade with a profit. Instead, we were rolling into the next month and have to deal with it now with November. But in this case with Herbal Life, it ended up being good. Uh, what's interesting about Herbal Life, and I just want to kind of stay on the same topic, is that implied volatility did drop but it really didn't drop that far. Like it, did, it didn't drop as far as some of the other ones out there. And mainly because the stock you know, closed down almost 20% today. It's a huge move in the stock for one day. So what we did decide to do is take advantage of this. Now we made some good money in the earnings trade. We wanted to go ahead and reset the clock here on Herbal Life and went ahead and added an iron condor for December. So we went all the way out to December, it's about 45 days away, kind of the sweet spot in selling options. And we decided to sell the 5560 call spread and the 30 25 put spread. Now what you'll notice is that we did give ourselves a little bit more room to the downside. So Herbal Life is, was trading right around 45 when we made this trade. So we gave ourselves about $10 of room to the upside and we gave ourselves about $15 of room to the downside. So this is definitely a skewed iron condor and this is something I think it's really important to do is that if you have kind of an underlying assumption or you're just kind of weary about one side of the market versus the other, go ahead and skew your iron condors. It's okay to do that. And, and you just have to slide down one side and slide out the other side. So in this case, we came in a little bit closer on the call side, the 55, 60 call spread, and went all the way down to 30, 25 on the put spread. Now overall, this still was taking in a very, very good credit. So it's a very nice trade, still very high probability trade, and the premium has been very good in Herbalife, hence why we did that. We go back to the charts here, and before we actually kind of look at, at the pricing diagram, let me just uh, do this. I want to make sure that we can see all of those prices and kind of scrunch the chart down. So down here below, you can see we gave ourselves a lot more room to the downside. On the top side, we're limiting ourselves to 55, basically where the stock opened back up uh, yesterday or where it closed yesterday before earnings. So we're assuming, okay, now it's had earnings. Earnings were obviously not so good. The stock may continue to, you know, kind of drift lower. So we gave ourselves more room to the downside to be able to do that. But again, still trying to take advantage of this really high implied volatility that we still see even after earnings in Herbal Life. When we actually go to the trade tab here uh, of our position, you can see exactly where it's where it's positioned probability wise. So uh, on the downside, we have about 20% probability of going in the money at 30. And then on the top side, and this is a little bit different because the markets have, have already shifted towards the end of the day, but it's about 16% probability on the top side. And that's kind of interesting to me for two reasons. One, the top side is only about $10 away. So the top side 
or our call spread is only about $10 away, but has a lower chance of actually hitting than the bottom side. So the bottom side's a little bit further away. It's about $15 away. And you can see that that $15, even though it's further away, statistically has a better chance of hitting because of implied volatility and kind of the trading history of HLF. So I think it's a really interesting trade, a good look at a, a skewed iron condor, uh, definitely one that you want to you know keep referencing back and sh uh, save this video and share it obviously online with other people. All right, so the other trade that we got out of today, uh, and these two trades obviously go together just kind of because of the nature uh, that they're in, but the other trade that we got out of is OIH. We had sold the 4748 call spread. Again, the OIH trade was more of a hedge for our overall oil positions, so we have a lot of bullish oil positions, and those obviously haven't been doing well because the market is, well, because the oil market's heading lower, so those have been losing money, but we added some other positions in here to kind of offset that, and OIH was one of those trades. So what we did today is we got rid of and bought back our OIH 4748 uh, credit call spread. We paid an eight cent debit for it, so we made $57. Again, nice little hedge. And then what we also did is went right back in and we sold um, some COP, which is ConocoPhillips. So again, trying to mimic what we're trying to do with OIH. OIH has kind of run its course. It's only got about $8 of premium left. So now we're kind of recycling the trading and making the same type of trade just in a different area of the market. With ConocoPhillips, we decided to sell the December 72 and a half, 75 call spread for a 45 cent credit. Again, trying to hedge some of our long oil positions that we currently have. And if oil does continue lower, we want to offset those losses with some of these profits on things like ConocoPhillips and OIH. When we actually go to the chart here of COP, you can see that implied volatility is still very, very high. And we did have a nice little dip today down with oil prices. But implied volatility is still very, very high and we are now past earnings. So that doesn't really become a factor. So this is why I like this trade, very liquid stock. Uh, high probability trade, great implied volatility, and now we're beyond earnings, so we don't have to worry about the embedded risk that earnings carries uh, with trading something like a regular stock versus an ETF uh, and OIH. So those are the two trades, or the four trades that we made today. That's pretty much it. As always, if you guys have any comments or questions, please add them right below. And if you're watching this video on YouTube or somewhere else online, you just have to understand that you're getting this video and looking at these trades about 15 days after they're sent out to our members. So if you want, <coughs> excuse me, so if you want trades like this and alerts uh, in this video the same day that the trades are made, you've got to sign up for a membership at optionalpha.com. Until next time, happy trading.